What's going on YouTube? Giusno right here. Today we have some great news about iOS 17 and chill breaking and this concerns also the people who are running iOS 16.7 and older. In fact it concerns those people more than the people on iOS 17. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So a while ago Apple released iOS 17.0 but it took a while for the security content to be updated and to be released to the general public. We now know that iOS 17 patches a ton of security vulnerabilities. You can see from here there is a security vulnerability in anything ranging from the Apple Neural Engine and going all the way down to the kernel and the developer tools and whatever. So there's a vulnerability in everything in here. But there are a couple of them that are actually standing out. A few kernel vulnerabilities in here, these that I'm highlighting in here are actually quite interesting and there seem to be quite a few of them. However, one of them is particularly important and this this one over here by Linus Hensey. Why is this so important? Because this is not a regular kernel vulnerability most likely. This is most likely what we call a PPL bypass, which is exactly what we need for a jailbreak on iOS 16.5 and lower if this gets released, which is definitely possible, especially since Linus Hensey released Fugu 15 and Fugu 14 and a lot of code for the general public. And according to OPA334, this is what we need for a jailbreak with the KFD exploit released a while ago for iOS 16.5. A while ago, back in July, they posted this quote it appears that read and write was achieved on iOS 16.5 and lower and it's a thing now see my last retweet but please keep in mind that a jailbreak is not possible without a PPL bypass so that PPL bypass a couple of months later seems to be in the patch log of iOS 17.0 which means that iOS 17.0 patches this vulnerability however if you're running iOS 16.7 16.6 16.6.1 16.5 or lower this vulnerability exists in there and if you are running iOS 16.5 or older, it's definitely great because this PPL bypass in combination with the already existing, already published KFD exploit, this could give us a jailbreak. And it's not me saying it, it's OPA334, the developer of dopamine jailbreak, so we know it's somebody who knows what they are saying. But do keep in mind that iOS 17.0.1 and 17.0.2 were also released in meantime and an important vulnerability is patched in 17.0.1 as well. It's a core trust vulnerability that I talked about in my previous video which could give us troll store too. So it's best if you do not update the iOS 17 at the moment. If you already updated, try to downgrade as soon as possible. If you can't downgrade anymore then it's game over, you're going to have to wait for a vulnerability for iOS 17. However, you can always see what is available by using my jailbreak finder tool. You go here to iDeviceCentral.com, press jailbreak finder and this page will load and in here you just have to select your device. For example I'm going to select iPhone 14 and it will give you the results for iPhone 14. And you can see exactly in here which iOS versions are good and which iOS versions are not and if a jailbreak is already available you will see it in here. So definitely check that out. If you want to see what iOS versions are signed you go to iOS signing status. Thank you for watching, this is pretty good news for the jailbreak community. In fact the biggest news we had so far in the past couple of months. Thank you for watching again. I'm Geo Snow. Subscribe for more videos like this and to keep you updated and peace out.